In one of my other videos, I talked about hot Jupiters, a unique class of gas giant orbiting extremely close to their stars. But many of these gas giants aren't going to exist for much longer, and are in the process of dying. This is Gliese 436b, officially named Awahali, a large planet 31 times the size of Earth, putting it in between the sizes of Neptune and Saturn. It takes just under three days to orbit its star, making it a typical hot gas giant with temperatures over 800 degrees Fahrenheit. But what's interesting about Awahali is that its atmosphere is being blown off into space by its star's radiation at a rapid pace. Because Awahali is a gas giant, it has a lot of atmosphere to spare, but it's estimated that it's already lost 10% of its atmosphere in the time that it formed. This process is seen on planets across the Milky Way, on dozens of hot planets, from the Neptune-sized Philincium to the super-Jupiter Wasp-12b. But what happens when a gas giant loses 100% of its atmosphere? As a gas giant loses more and more of its atmosphere, it leaves behind a rocky core that can be dozens or hundreds of times bigger than Earth in mass. Eventually, the gas giant loses enough atmosphere that it begins to look and behave like a rocky planet. This exotic type of planet is called a Sithonian planet, and they're one of the least studied types of exoplanet. Sithonian planets will be very similar to rocky planets in many regards, but what sets them apart is their incredible masses. Normal rocky planets are limited to smaller masses usually under 8 times the size of Earth. Once reaching 8 Earths in mass, planets begin to blur the line between rocky planet and ice giant, and become mini-Neptunes. But Sithonian planets can get much, much larger than this. This is TOI-849b, one of the most likely candidates for a Sithonian planet. It's only 3.4 times the radius of Earth, but is over double the mass of Neptune. It takes less than a day to complete a full orbit around its star. To make things more interesting, TOI-849b resides in the Neptunian Desert, which is a region around stars where ice giant planets on short orbits aren't found. I explain this concept more in my video about the Neptunian Desert, but to summarize, Ice giants around close orbits of stars aren't found because the planets likely evaporate after a few billion years, leaving Sithonian planets behind. Awahali, which is only slightly bigger than Neptune, is on the outer edge of the Neptunian desert, and so will likely become Sithonian in a few billion years. TOI-849b might have begun life as a larger ice or gas giant, but because it was inside the Neptunian desert, where stellar radiation is high enough to strip the atmospheres of giant planets, it eventually lost its gaseous layers, leaving just the core behind. Another candidate Sithonian planet is Korot 7b. It's only six times bigger than Earth, meaning if it is Sithonian, the gas giant that formed it was likely pretty small. Like all Sithonian planets, it has an extremely short orbital period of less than a day. Korot 7b might not be Sithonian, and instead just a normal hot rocky planet, but if it's confirmed to be the dead core of a gas giant, it will be the first Sithonian planet ever found. So those are a few examples of some Sithonian planets that might exist, but what are they like? Well, Sithonian planets would be among the most inhospitable, harshest planets in the universe. In an environment where gas giant planets can't even survive, life has no chance whatsoever. Temperatures on Sithonian planets would be thousands of degrees, and they'd have the highest surface gravities of any known planets, with some of the most massive Sithonian candidates having estimated surface gravities ten times stronger than Earth's. Some of them would have no atmosphere at all, all of it having been ejected into space by its star's radiation, but younger Sithonian planets could still have thick atmospheres, as they haven't lost all their air yet. And because they're made of gas giant cores, they might be very rich in heavy elements like iron. Other than that, not much is known about Sithonian planets. It's a very new class of planet, so there's very few candidates known, and they're even less well studied. All we have so far are speculations and a few candidates to back them up. They're also rare due to the amount of things that need to go right and the amount of times that needs to go by to form them. But as time goes by, Sithonian planets will only get more common as the hot Jupiters of the universe slowly lose their outer layers of gas. WASP-12b is the most well-known example of an evaporating planet in the process of becoming Sithonian, but there are many others, from KELT-9b, the hottest known planet, to Awahali, which has a visible tail like a comet made of ejected material, to Makambe, which is estimated to be losing mass at a rate of half an Earth every billion years, and dozens more. All of these planets are extremely close to their stars, and that's a death sentence for most of them. This process, called hydrodynamic escape, is the same reason objects like Mars have lost a lot of their atmospheres, but to a much more extreme scale that can destroy gas giants. What little we do know about Sithonian planets paints a picture of a terrifying type of world, little more than the gravestones of dead gas giants. These worlds take extreme to a whole new level and are unlike anything we will ever have in the solar system. Hopefully we'll know more about them in the future.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, check out my other videos about exoplanets, as well as my colonization of the solar system series.